has got to be one of the most requested things on the channel. Like, I see so many comments. You guys should make snow bikes out of your pit bikes. Uh, so we ordered two pit bike kits. They just came in uh, a couple days ago. And now we got to pick which one we're doing them yeah, to. Yeah, it's going to be locked down. I think we should do Mike's. Yeah, since he's not here. Yeah, since, since he's not here, we'll make executive decision. We're going to do Mike's. That's what happens, I guess, if you don't make it to work at 9 a.m. Dude, I Mike Mike could never get a like a real job. He'd be fired so fast. Yeah, no, it, it is true. <laughs> He'd sleep through the first day. It is true, so we better keep this up because otherwise he's going to be... Dude, you can't ride the pit bike like it's a strider. It's like a little kid's strider. You fit two of these in here. Dude, these are some tiny tracks. Oh my gosh. Oh. What do you think he's gonna say? Michael? Hey, right, bring it on. <laughs> uh, we decided we're gonna use your pit bike. All right, Mike, we'll have a competition. We'll see who builds it the fastest. Uh, you can have CJ and Ken, and I'll take Ryan. <laughs> Okay, deal. <laughs> CJ's sitting behind the camera. I do. If Ken stays out of our way, I think we can do a lot of work. <laughs> All right, Ryan. All right, Ken uh, has, has switched teams on Micah and I. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. I didn't know we had teams here, no. Dude, whatever. Just stay over there. there. We don't want you anyway. Go. All right, so quick update. Ken still is not on our team, but we're <laughs> neck and neck right now on <laughs> the Little Ripper Kit build. This is actually pretty close. Pretty you guys good. better hurry up. I, I, actually, slow down. All right, so Ben and Ryan, and I guess Ken, they lost one of their bolts to finish their kit. So meanwhile, while they were running to the store, this gives Mike and I a chance to catch up. They were looking all over for our bolt because they wanted to either take it or see what it looked like. And it turns out Mike had it in his pocket the whole time. I didn't know they were looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this gives us a nice chance to catch up. Here they come. They're going to be so surprised. How's it going? Turns out Mike had his bolt in his pocket the whole time. Uh, ah! So Ken, get in here! What were you doing? I was sending emails and shipping shit. Like, oh my gosh. To think you guys had three people. It's your fault. <laughs> hey, hey, you had Ryan too. Ken, you could have been with the winners, but instead you decided to betray us. Okay, where the fuck are the clips now? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> well, I guess we'll be seeing you guys out on the snow. Get the if you ever make it out there. The I still have no idea what happened to that nut. Okay. Ken, check your pockets. It's not in my pockets. Can you imagine if it? Oh, you do have it, Ben! No, this isn't it. It's That's no, it, bro. That's it. No, there's no way. <laughs> Holy, this is there's bad. No <laughs> this is bad. Are you kidding me? There's no way! Chief dummy zone right here. There's buddy. no, actually, there's no way. It's ben, it was in your fucking pocket and you yelled at me, where's the bull? Where's the bull? <laughs> just got this uh, new Polaris Razor. We're pretty stoked on it. We got the four-seater this time so we can fit at least most of the boys in it and mob around. Uh, and I'm pretty excited. I haven't driven it yet or even sat in it. This is my first time even being it. I drove it once in the really deep snow. It's a beast. You hop in? I'm gonna ride. Probably a good idea.
is a big body oh. beamer. It just about swung out and hit you. It's a school bus. I was staying in for the shot. Risky. I did that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I do be having fun on these yeah, snow bikes. Super fun. It's one of those things, it's like a pit bike in general, it doesn't look cool, but man, when we're ripping together. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, buddy. The bad boys. Bad boys. Bad boys. <laughs> I'm on, uh, just out destroying the local trails, I see, huh? I do that once in a while. You guys could probably barely ride the trail over here after Mike was done with it, I suppose. <laughs> the ruts were like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking pretty smart right now. He's actually the only one that didn't sell. His mountain sled from last year, me and Ryan both did because we ordered new ones. Unfortunately, they're not here yet. But luckily, our buddy Sane Skinner, big shout out to Sane, is letting us ride uh, two of his new Matrixes. You guys could just go and follow him or hit the link down in the description. If you guys want to go snowmobiling, Sane will take you. Our plan for today is to go hit the mountain, which is somewhere that way, and go have fun snowmobiling. <laughs> You guys watched our last podcast we found out that one of my new year's resolutions a year ago was to just get rid of pennies so usually when i pay with cash and i walk out of like the gas station i just chuck them so many people are like why wouldn't you just save them you know how long it would take you to save enough pennies just to buy a mountain dew i get way more enjoyment out of just chucking and i think you guys should start doing that too I found this garbage in my pocket what the heck is that yeah thank you it claims there's a national coin shortage, so where did they all go? Sometimes I just throw them in the garbage. Sometimes I like put them in a stack somewhere, fling them onto the, the street, wherever I'm at. It's just fun. <laughs> to be like that. It's like a breakaway thing so it doesn't like totally rip off. Okay. I just want your love and affection. Yeah, yeah. Love me now. I don't need anything else. You're the only one I invested. Yeah, yeah. You're the only one. Yeah. Even though we've been through it. Yeah. Been involved, yeah. Been through it all, yeah. If I could, I'd be wife and all, yeah. On an island outside in the club, yeah. Nighttime, it's a vibe and it's love, yeah. Shiny bad and I can't get enough, yeah. Whoa, hey, she be vibing. Whoa, hey, love the way she ride it. I don't know what the time is. I don't know if you love me, but I'm trying to find it. Ryan said he needs some help because he's not pointed in the best direction. Oh my god. Hey Ryan, does this mean first round of drinks on you tonight? Yeah, I think dinner might be on me, honestly. 
We might still be here, honestly. So I walked down here. My plan was to just stop somewhere in there and then go through there again, because I know I could do that. But then I came down and I started going really fast. Yeah. And then I almost oh, lost the same oh, oh, right there. See ya. Let's, uh, let's figure this one out. Yeah. I didn't know if you were gonna make it. I have lost my touch, dude. Man, you have to have touch to lose it. That's true. Dang. Okay, so for those of you that have never been mountain snowmobiling before, that's really hard and really impressive. That's what it looks like to try and do what David did. I don't know how he does it. All right, Ryan, let's see it. Come on. I always used to say a snowmobile is like riding a bike, but I feel like this is a different type of bicycle. More like a unicycle? And I've also forgot how to ride the bike. <laughs> Nothing like going into something with zero confidence. <laughs> what do we got going on here? I think he lost his mojo. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! You good, bud? I don't think so. I, there's something wrong with me. What do you need? You need some water, food? Can we help you? I think I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna go down the creek and then I'm gonna have Mountain Dew and that, I think I'll be fine. <laughs> You should have quit while you were ahead. Yeah, I was sick. What's up guys, got a quick announcement for those of you in our neck of the woods. We're gonna be doing another snowmobile ride out. Just like last year, except we have way more snow this year. Uh, it'll be February 5th, that's a Saturday, at the Cormorant Inn, same place we did it last year. The ride out starts at noon, we'll be going around Cormorant for about an hour. Plenty of parking, bring your sleds, bring your friends. We'll be uh, signing autographs, taking pictures, hanging out. There'll be food, drinks, places to warm up. So if you can make it, come ride snowmobiles with us. February 5th, Cormorant Inn, starts at noon. Thanks for watching the video.